in this part, we are told that the EPE actually consists of these two terms. I've plotted the two terms uh, graphically. So the red line corresponds to the term positive b over r to the power of 8. And this blue line corresponds to the term negative a over r. Let's look at the red line here. What does it remind you of? I hope the thing that comes to your mind is the EP stop between two repulsive like charges. So one of the features of the force that's related to this term would be that this force is repulsive. The second feature has got to do with the power of 8 here. Because it's to the power of 8, we know that this term decreases very steeply. That's why uh, a second feature we can quote is that this force, the force that's related to this term, is a very short range force. Meaning the, the force is very strong at very small separation, but at large separation, this force is basically negligible. Let me briefly explain how these two terms come about. When the two ions are very far apart, the main interaction is between the net charges of the two ions. So this is an attractive force. And that's why we have this blue line here. But when the two, charge, uh, the two ions are very close together, the interaction now becomes mainly between the two positively charged nucleus, which is a repulsive force. And now we have the red line here. So when the two ions are far apart, the attractive forces dominate over the repulsive force. So the, the resultant EP is mainly that's due to the blue line. But when the two ions are very close together, the repulsive force dominates over the attractive forces. And the red line dominates over the blue line. And the resultant is actually largely due to the red line here. Okay, that's all I want to say. Thank you. Ta-ta.